person. Welcome back to Breakfast Television. Thank you for joining us this Thursday morning, looking ahead to the holiday season. And Connor is here from Green Calgary to show us how to reduce our waste over the holidays. And the fact of the matter is that we increase our waste between November and December. Yeah, so from November to December in North America, we have about 25% more waste that we produce in our homes. Okay, no extra pickup this year. No, from My Garbage Day app, which I hope everybody goes on their, their app store and finds the Garbage Day app from the City of Calgary, there's no extra pickup in my app. Okay, so even if you have that extra waste, maybe you need to, you know, divide and conquer and organize it appropriately. And if you're getting into wrapping over the weekend, uh, do so wisely. So let's start at this end of the table. Start at this end of the table. So as everybody's unwrapping their gifts, your gift box is obviously reusable. So we want to get the maximum life out of those. So don't put the label right onto the box. Use something that you can peel off easily. Those are fully recyclable once they reach the end of their life. Okay, what about the tape? Do we peel that off? You peel off as much as you can, but you can have some tape on there. Okay, terrific. Gift bags. So shiny gift bags, you can use them for crafts and at the end of their life, they're in the black cart. But a nice bag like this that's a more natural, just a paper product without the coatings, you can recycle that. And if it gets really soiled, you can compost it. Okay, even better. So a couple of options there. And sort of the rule is if it's shiny, it isn't recyclable. Yeah, so these heavily coated papers here, as well as the bows, those are coated in a plastic, a laminate product that you can't recycle. So those are straight into the black cart. Okay, so that goes for the bows and for the wrapping. Yeah, and no. most ribbons as well. Oh, really? Okay, most ribbons. Oh. Find an alternative. Now, what about this just sort of straight up paper? So your old school wrapping paper that we've had for decades in Canada can be recycled. Mm. So just printed paper, you can recycle that. Okay, terrific. Same deal with the tape? Same deal. Get off as much as you can. Yeah. And turn it into a ball. Don't bag it up because the city's recycling facility doesn't open bags. So just ball it all together and then throw it into your blue cart. Terrific. Okay. What else do we have here on the table? So we have cellophane. So a lot of things come in cellophane. We see food products, we see flowers, we see all of that wrapped in, in cellophane this time of year. Not recyclable, not compostable, straight into the black cart. Okay, so maybe if you're purchasing flowers for your hostess gift, it doesn't go in the cellophane, but go for the paper wrap. Yeah. All right, what else do we have for so packaging? So tissue paper um, is recyclable once it reaches the end of its life. Try to reuse it as many times as you can, mm. but it does get to that point where it's just really crinkled and you can't use it again. At that point, you can recycle it. Okay, I'm that weirdo that has a tissue paper drawer and reuses it over and over again. Then we have actual packaging. So what's inside of the wrapping paper? When you have things like a CD, that plastic that's around there, it's not a plastic bag, that's straight into the black cart. Okay. Your plastic packaging, this stuff here, with a number on it, you can put that into your blue cart if you separate it from other materials. Okay. So sometimes you get the cardboard with the plastic on it. If you separate those two pieces, you can put them into the blue cart. Okay, so we're looking for a number on the plastic. Yeah, paper. and there's a number on this one oh. just on the back side. There it is. It's hidden right here. Okay, so that's your indicator. Yep. And then you have boxes like this one here. These are recyclable. So what you want to do is open that up, take everything out of it, mm. break down the box as small as you can, and then straight into the blue cart. Okay, and sometimes those additional packing items, they can be paper or styrofoam. Yeah, exactly. So we pull those out and put them into the right bins. Perfect. These little jewelry boxes that we have here, unfortunately they're made of polyester and, and other petroleum products, not compostable, not recyclable, straight into the black bin once they're done their life. Okay. And then we all have lots of shopping bags. Um, I, I always try to have a reusable one with me, but this is actually my Simon's bag that I got shopping there. Um, we want to reuse those as many times as we can and then bag them up, so a bag of bags into the blue bin. Okay. And then the last thing that I have is a banker's box. Yes. Um, and so we're going to generate a lot more food waste this year. Yeah. And the default is to have the big garbage can next to the counter and just shovel everything in, and then that goes out to the black cart. That's been the way I think many families have done it for Absolutely. decades in Canada. What we want to do is change that, have a banker's box. This is compostable and recyclable. Ah. Keep that in the kitchen. All of the food waste goes in here. Mm. And at the end of Christmas dinner, this goes out to the green cart. Perfect. That is great planning and a good tip as always. Well, thank you so much. Thank Happy you. holidays to you and, and yours. You. And we'll take a break here on Breakfast Television. It is 7.59. We're back with news, weather, and traffic.